in the age of really high gas prices and people wanting to get rid of their vehicles that don't get good gas economy or get fuel mileage and a lot of people thinking they need an electric it would take most people at least 16 years depending on your electric electric bill or longer to make up your money for what this will cost you when you get 40 miles a gallon on this I'm Mike Hamilton at Lithia Toyota and behind me is a 2022 Toyota Corolla LE. I'll be right back. So at this point, at this stage in electric cars, as we're getting a whole bunch of new electric cars coming out, there is a ton of manufacturers and vehicles getting rolled out right now that are electric. Um, but the electric price of a vehicle is something like $45,000 is the average price, and it could go way up from there. As I'm looking at a Mach-E, GT, the one I want with all the bells, $73,000. Yes, there is some tax credits and depending on your state, there's some money and also depending on your income bracket and if you can itemize enough, there, there, are some, uh, there are some credits. And also if you're not buying the manufacturer's order, you had all their credits used up like Tesla. So you're not getting credits from if you're buying a Tesla. So you have to buy a manufacturer that has to have all their credits uh, used up already. I know the government's trying to get more credits for Tesla, but it's not here yet. So forever in a day, this car has been around. This is the uh, car that's been the, here in the United States domestically now for the longest period of time since the, uh, there is no longer a Land Cruiser. This takes over as the king uh, for Toyota. It's the king of all cars in the history of cars. It passed up the model T so many years ago with the most sales. Um, it's been around, I believe, since 1966 in the United States. I think it's been a little bit longer in Japan. Um, but this is the number one selling vehicle in the history of all vehicles is sitting before me. This is the Toyota Corolla. It is the uh, least price vehicle that Toyota builds currently domestically in this model package. It is the, uh, one of the lowest cost of ownerships, one of the safest vehicles, and one of the most reliable vehicles. So let's go over this. So back in 2019, Toyota did its redesign on this and gave this thing a little bit more aggressive stance. I know it's not as big and bold as you'll see something like the Honda Civic. Um, Toyota's a little bit more vanilla than that, but uh, we do have a good stylish vehicle with this honeycomb grille down here. It does come with a nice complimentary suite of Toyota safety assets, including smart stop adaptive cruise control lane uh, departure and lane trace assistance uh, it does recent or stop signs and also read speed limits too let's go ahead and take a look on the side uh, again this being a basic one here you get hub caps on this instead of uh, alloy rims the next level up the se will give you alloy rims let's go ahead and take a look on the inside here coming to the inside here we have some nice fabric materials this is hard plastic, but they do this leather pattern on here taken from real leather. Uh, and then coming across here, this is all injection molding, soft touch, and this is a soft touch on here. 
and does have the 8 inch infotainment on here that supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We do have a uh, CVT transmission, but it mimics sequentially six speeds. It also has electric e-brake on there. So you just take it and put it park. It will set itself. No, nothing to do there. Seats are cloth, but they are really nice and comfortable. Let's go ahead and take a look at the window sticker, Monroni sticker on this here. So five star crash safety testing overall. This is all your standard equipment. It's gonna come on every level of this vehicle. We do have door edge guards on here and, uh, and rear bumper protector. looks like you'd, we'd have to get floor mats for this one and didn't come with floor mats. Some Toyota might have been running out on those so you could get those from the store, but they're not charged for those. 21,754 is your MSRP. LE and Corolla badging and Toyota badges and Chrome. Uh, it does have key fob that unlocks the trunk here. And taking a look on the inside, you do have 60-40 split there and a good size trunk for such a smaller vehicle. Coming into the inside, I did have that seat back for me. It would be a little bit tight for me like that, so I'd ask the driver to move that up for me. But even still, if I had to in a pinch, I could sit like this. I am six foot two. So there is no blind spot monitors on this level here does not come with power seats on this level, but does have a jack system to raise that seat up and down. Uh, we have our power mirrors, power windows, power locks, and we have a, uh, a with a headlight, that's for your auto dimming high beams. Um, let's go ahead and get on the inside here. So we have analog gauges on here. We also have a digital gauge that's gonna give us some information like this, telling us we got low fuel. And then we have our eco screen here. It's going to give us our digital miles per hour, uh, fill to empty, uh, average miles per gallon, which it only has 11, so it really hasn't got that yet. Uh, that's an eco meter. Uh, this is your uh, adaptive cruise control and lane departure and lane trace screen here. And then trip information is on here. And then it tells you about your different Toyota safety sense uh, that you have for this vehicle. And then no messages or messages on this is low fill because that doesn't have much fill in it right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. Over here is the control toggle that controls that driver's information center. I'm picking up and hanging up the phone underneath here on both sides. This is uh, radio volume uh, push to talk that you could use for uh, Google or Siri on here. And then you have modes to change your radio. Then your cruise control and all that stuff is over here. Uh, we have our levers for our, our turn signals and our lights here. Uh, the other side is our window washer and, and windshield wipers. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, infotainment there. It grew from a dinky uh, six inch uh, back in 19 and got, or 18 and 19 and got bigger. Gives you a nice, decent backup camera. Not the clearest, but it's still a good camera. And then you have, uh, again, the newest options like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on here, or XM Radio all in here. You could also port in more music through your phone, through Bluetooth, and through the apps. Uh, coming to the bottom, we have uh, physical controls here. So temperature range, fan speeds, uh, different flows on here. Um, and then your inside, outside air AC on, front defrost, rear defrost, all part of that. Coming down below, we have a, a CVT transmission, but it does mimic having six speeds on here. And then again, we have our, our parking brake, our electric e-brake, and our brake hold button, a couple cup holders. And then we do have a USB-C and a 12 volt in the center console. A glove box is down there. And the primary USB is pointing the way for the uh, plugging into Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also have uh, something called a dongle, at least for Apple CarPlay, to make it wireless until Toyota does wireless with everything, which they only right now have two vehicles. Uh, we have our dome lights incandescent. Uh, we have uh, uh, a big button here, which is a shared platform from a lot of manufacturers, but uh, it, it, this is uh, basically OnStar for Toyota. So emergencies, if your airbags deploy, they'll be calling you. If you have emergency, you can push the button to call them. Also, it does uh, complimentary roadside assistance and stolen vehicle locator for trial uh, services on that. Um, we do have, let's see, we do have vanity mirrors with lights on here. Um, so a little bit of nice upgrades and the stereo sounds pretty good on this too.
So again, uh, looking at the electric cars that are out there right now, anything decent with over 200 mile range, I, I don't know if you could ever make up the cost difference between one of those vehicles and this here and actually see a better savings. So if you're thinking electric to save money, it's not going to work at this point. Maybe as there's a whole bunch of them and technology gets cheaper and things happen and things get back to normal, maybe that could happen. Uh, but it, like doing the math myself and then seeing uh, another guy on YouTube who's got a way, way bigger channel than me has been doing this a lot longer, Alex on Autos. Hey, you know, he's talking about a Honda Civic compared to just something like the new um, ID4 uh, Volkswagen or the uh, new uh, Subaru that's coming out, the new Toyota that's coming out that are electrics. Uh, it would take something like 16 years at the minimum to see that, but then you're going to start uh, looking at uh, battery life's going to start going down after so many uh, charges and discharges and the, the car won't have the range and that's on purpose. Um, also, maybe the technology is just not there for the batteries to last much longer than, say, between 10 and 20 years, which I don't know. I haven't done a whole bunch of studying on them, but uh, I know batteries don't last forever. And, and if you charge them high and fast, that, that, that they're going to wear out much quicker. Um, again, uh, hopefully the technology gets better and cheaper. But right now, this if, if you're looking to save money on fuel, it, it, this is your best option right here, in my opinion, or the hybrid that's uh, in the Corolla 2 uh, at 53 miles a gallon. So thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.